Cisco Secure Access, Intra ID Provisioning. All right, let's get our IDP integrated into the platform. Let's go to Configure Infrastructure, and you can already see I've integrated it. Again, I'm going to walk you through. We've got three users that we're importing from Azure or Entra ID. We already have one user enrolled. We'll show that a little later on. I didn't in import any of the groups at this stage, but certainly most organizations would. My mind is a fairly simple test as we progress through this based on user identity. Go to configuration management in provisioning. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is select Azure. It'll give you a provisioning token and you will have a provisioning URL. We're going to use those within Azure or Entra ID. Let's go to Microsoft Entra ID. And let's validate our users here. We already know that they're imported, but this is something that you could do. We can see that we've got some users identified here. Let's go ahead and go into applications. And we're going to create an application called Cisco User Management for Secure Access. Once we select that, we can go ahead and click on Assign User and Groups. Let's go ahead and do that. And we can see here the users that we have available, we can check those, and then we go off to provisioning. Once we go off to provisioning, we can go ahead and edit the provisioning parameters, which I've already done here, but let's go ahead and look at it. And we'll go to admin credentials. And this is where we're gonna grab that tenant URL, the provisioning URL that we got from Secure Access and the secure token. We can go ahead and test our connection to make sure that it works. And let's go back one step here and we can go ahead and click start provisioning. It'll pull in the users and groups and they'll be available for you within secure access. I mentioned the provisioning URL and token. Now remember, this is where you get it in secure access to put in the enterprise application that we created within Entra ID. Now let's go back to users and groups and then we would see the sync data come in and we start seeing those users. We click on the groups tab, we would see the groups if we did import them. As I mentioned, I didn't do that. And now we've got the second step in the configuration of secure access in place, which includes the user identity. Pretty neat stuff.